In the name of Allah, the Rahman and the Rahim, who taught men by means of the pen. Dear students, in today's class we are learning uh, some of the important punctuation marks. Firstly, we will define that what's meant by punctuation. Uh, punctuation is the use of sign and symbol that make the text meaningful or that make the text easy for comprehension and understanding for the readers. These are some of the important punctuation marks. Firstly, we have full stop, comma, inverted commas, a question mark, exclamation mark, and apostrophe. Now, how we are classifying or how we are using these punctuation marks? The first use of the uh, full stop is to end a sentence. Okay, Full stop is the most common form of punctuation mark that is used to end a sentence or that is used at the end of a sentence in English language. For instance, the baby is crying. Okay, it's the full sentence. So, uh, we are using at the end of this sentence full stop or period. When a message is completed, when a sentence is complete, so then we use full stop or a period. Okay. Uh, he is studying in university. So, at the end of a sentence, there is a full stop. They are taking classes regularly. Again, we have used a period or full stop. So, uh, it is the most commonly used uh, punctuation mark uh, to represent or to show that uh, the sentence is completed and the sense is communicated successfully. Dear students, please note that after every full stop, the next word always starts with a capital letter, okay? When we are ending a sentence in a full stop, so then we start a, a word uh, like uh, with a capital letter, okay? Furthermore, all proper names, names of days, months, etc. also starts with capital letters. We are using at the beginning a uh, capital letter at the beginning of uh, proper nouns, name of particular places, persons or things or phenomena uh, and name of the days like Monday. Uh, Sunday, Saturday, okay, Monday. So uh, months. At the name of the months, we are we are we are starting the names of months with the capital letters. Then comes another punctuation mark, a question mark. A question mark is used at the end of a sentence when question is asked. For example, uh, where are you going? Do they eat meal? So, these sent in these sentences, questions are asked. So, that's why we have used a question mark or sign of interrogation, okay? Uh, to separate phrases or items. To make distinctions among phrases or items. Uh, a comma is used, okay? Comma is, comma is used to show a pause in the sentence. A short pause period in a sentence or when a naming uh, or when we are naming a list of items in a sentence then we are using comma comma is also very common punctuation mark take a short pause dear students take a short part pause or a little breathe when comma comes in a sentence for instance ali ahmed and hassan are brothers Another example, I saw a tall, young, beautiful and an intelligent boy. So, in the first sentence, Ali, Ahmed and Hassan are brothers. So, in the first sentence, Ali and Ahmed are nouns. So, the separation of noun is with the help of uh, comma. And in the second sentence, tall, young, beautiful and intelligent, these words are adjectives okay so these adjectives are separate separated a distinction 
uh, is there with the help of a comma among the adjectives. To quote or indicate a title for the quotation marks or for the citation and references, we are using inverted commas. Okay, inverted comma commas show that the the enclosed words are the actual words of the speaker. When we are quoting writers, speakers, personalities, books, poets, dramatists, novelists, okay, then we are using inverted commas to show that these the, the enclosed words, the words inside the commas are the actual words of the speakers are of the writer, okay. For example, Kaid said, work, work, and work. So for references and quotation and citation, we are using inverted commas to show that these words are not the, the, the uh, like uh, the words of the speaker, the words of the person who is speaking, but actually the words of the writers are the personalities, are the books, okay? So another uh, punctuation mark is in apostrophe. An apostrophe shows position uh, or ownership of an item belong to someone else. Uh, for instance, this is Ali's book. Okay, so the the item book belongs to Ali. So that's why here we we are using apostrophe. So this this is Ali's book. Another use of this uh, punctuation mark is. Uh, in contractions, for instance, cannot, can't, does not, doesn't, did not, didn't. Okay, when we are using the short form of these words, then we use this uh, uh, punctuation mark uh, in sentences or in words. So, dear students, if you have any question, you can ask in comments. Uh, thanks for watching and wait for another useful videos on the same channel.